Our experiment is how are gyroscopes affected by gravity. Our experiment is to see how spherical objects uh, either float or sink in uh, hypergravity and zero gravity. Our experiment is going well. It's official. The NASA Explorer Schools project announces this year's schools selected for recognition. These schools showed exemplary classroom practices and innovative use of the NASA Explorer Schools resources to engage students across the nation in STEM activities. Teachers from each of the selected schools will conduct a series of STEM investigations in their classrooms and then compare those findings in reduced gravity. It's amazing. Uh, we're doing our experiment on the magnetic field and it's totally different than what we thought. <laughs> There's no greater opportunity for teachers to put science to the test than in a real-world NASA setting. Check this out. Today we're going to take you for NASA's Reduced Gravity Flight. Awesome. Explore the wonders of weightlessness. Wow. NASA Explorer Schools recognizes your innovation and best practice in the use of NASA content with this unique professional development experience. Good science, good fun. Challenge your students to conduct an investigation in the classroom. Starting test! And then you can perform that same experiment aboard NASA's reduced gravity aircraft. This is for my students. We learned about simple systems. There's the yo-yo. If selected, you and two other teachers from your school will travel to Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas for one week to train and then fly on an aircraft specially designed to study the effects of microgravity on physical science. And I've been excited about this for a long time and it's everything that I thought of even more. Thank you NASA Explorer Schools and all our members of our school community. It's been an awesome experience up here. Thank you. Here with his own personal experience is someone who knows firsthand what it's like to be in space. Hello NASA Explorer School teachers and congratulations on your selection to fly aboard NASA's Reduced Gravity Aircraft. I am NASA's Associate Administrator for Education, Leland Melvin. I am also a two-time Space Shuttle astronaut. I flew aboard Atlantis in 2008 and 2009. Taking that first microgravity flight is an important milestone in astronaut training. My first flight aboard what astronauts call the Vomit Comet was almost a decade ago but I still remember that sense of excitement at the thought of being weightless. I'm sure that that is what you're feeling right now. There is even a more important component of your flight next spring. You'll be flying student-developed experiments and monitoring their responses to the microgravity environment. Now this is exactly what the crews of the International Space Station do in their orbiting laboratory more than 200 miles above the Earth. You're also cultivating the generation of scientists, engineers, explorers, inspiring students to pursue studies in science, technology, engineering, and math, or what we call STEM, is something that I'm really passionate about. Strong STEM skills are win-win all around. For students, having these skills will open the door to many exciting career options. For NASA and this nation, these skills are critical to ensuring a talented, tech-savvy workforce and a bright future. Thank you for all that you do to inspire the next generation to reach higher and pursue their dreams. Congratulations again on your selection for flight. Now, if my schedule allows, I would be pleased to join you in Texas next spring for this adventure. Congratulations to the winning schools. Amos Hyatt Middle School, Des Moines, Iowa. Charles T. Krantz School, El Monte, California. East Hartford Glastonbury Magnet School, East Hartford, Connecticut. Ellen Ochoa Learning Center, Cudahy, California. Ferndale Middle School, High Point, North Carolina. Forest Lake Elementary, Columbia, South Carolina. Frank Park Elementary, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Jamestown High School, Jamestown, Pennsylvania. Johnston Middle School, Houston, Texas. Lakewood High School, Lakewood, California. Key Peninsula Middle School, Lake Bay, Washington. 
Mac Ben Junior Elementary School, Suffolk, Virginia. St. Mary's Visitation, Elm Grove, Wisconsin. Woodrow Wilson Middle School, Glendale, California. Congratulations to all our winners. We are proud to say that since our launch last September, over 2,000 educators from almost 1,700 schools have joined the NASA Explorer Schools project from around the United States and across the globe. NASA Explorer Schools invests in science, technology, engineering, and math educators to inspire and engage a whole generation of future scientists, engineers, and technicians that NASA needs to continue our journey. For the benefit of teachers joining us for the first time, there's no better time than now to register for NASA Explorer Schools and to give you and your students the chance to experiment in reduced gravity.